Ryan, how big of a loss would it be if Johnson can't play in this tournament? Oh, Maggie, it'd be a huge loss. You can't make this up. The night before the first major of the year and the number one golfer in the world falls down a flight of stairs? I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, it'd be a huge loss. Dustin Johnson's the hottest player on the planet right now. He's won his last three starts. He's looking to become the first to win four in a row since Tiger did that back in 08. No one's done it since then. And it, he's transformed his game over the last six months uh, since he shook the monkey off his back last year and won the U.S. Open. He's the odds-on prohibitive favorite going into this event. And as of now, he's expected to try it out, come out onto the range a little later. His tee time's at 2.03 uh, later this afternoon. So he has some time. Uh, the latest reports are that he's feeling a little bit better. He's mobile. He's taking anti-inflammatories. And they're hoping for the best. He said he's going to do everything he can to play today at the Masters. Okay, Ryan, you said that he's the odds-on favorite going into the tournament. Is he still the favorite after this accident? And if he's not, then who is? I throw that up in the air. I mean, people will have scrambling last night with their, their picks for the Masters pools and any wagering that they do. The Masters generates quite a lot of wagering, too. So is he still the favorite? I, who knows? Who knows what you're getting? Hey, I mean, if he's just dealing with a little bit of pain and, and there's no spasm issues in his back, then... Yeah, his game is just a little bit better than everyone else right now. But, you know, tough conditions stay at Augusta. If the back starts bothering him, would it shock me if he tried it out and withdrew either mid-round or end of first round? That wouldn't shock me at all. Wow. Well, another guy we are familiar with, Ryan, Roy McIlroy. He has the opportunity to become just a sixth player ever to complete the career Grand Slam. He obviously dealt with a rib injury, sidelining him for seven weeks. And considering he's a guy who certainly prefers to play a heavier schedule, I wonder how much that will affect him, that layoff in Augusta. Yeah, Jordan, you mentioned kind of the abbreviated schedule because of the rib injury, but he is back, and he's playing pretty well. He had a top 10 uh, in Mexico um, just a few weeks back. He had a top five at Bay Hill uh, last month as well. So Rory's playing some good golf. Amazing to say a guy who's won four major titles and uh, looking to complete the uh, career Grand Slam is flying a little bit under the radar, um, which I think is a great thing for Rory. He, there's a lot of stress that comes with him showing up at the Masters after what happened to him now going on six years ago when he melted down on that 10th hole and lost his lead and ended up uh, finishing quite a few shots back. So uh, what to expect from Rory? I expect big things out of Rory, and I, I think kind of the – Lack of a buzz around Rory McIlroy will be to his benefit this week. All right. Speaking of meltdowns, Jordan Spieth has played well of late, the former world number one, winning the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. But we certainly can't forget about his quadruple bogey on 12 last year in the final round of the Masters. We know the history of blown leads at Augusta, guys like McIlroy, Greg Norman, and how their collapses ultimately impacted them down the road. I wonder for you, what is your sense on Spieth's mindset right now considering he blew a five-shot lead just last year at, at the Masters. Yeah, five-shot lead with nine holes to play. I, I think the demons are gone. He came back here over the winter, played uh, number 12, where it all happened a year ago. He played it multiple times, birdied it every time, declared that uh, the demons were, were gone, and, and he's good to go. He's played it many times over the last two weeks now. I think Jordan's ready, and let's face it, th this determined golf, the horse for the course, it's Jordan Spieth. He's played here three times. He's finished no worse than second place. Two seconds and a win in his three starts at the Masters. It's the perfect setup for him. He's the best putter on the PGA Tour, which with these greens, that's what you need to do. You need to be able to roll the ball on the greens here at Augusta. So I don't think any of the issues from last year will rear their ugly head. Jordan has won since that meltdown. He won last season again uh, and has been playing some good golf. He won, it, as you mentioned, the AT&T out at Pebble Beach. So Jordan should be good to go. Expect him to be right in contention again this year. Ryan, I always know that you have your finger on the pulse of the first major. If anyone's going to pick a winner, I know it's going to be you. We can hear a little bit of the wind in the background. We know there was rain yesterday. Gusts could be anywhere up to 20, 30, maybe 40 miles per hour for this first round. So with that in mind and the weather that is predicted for the weekend, who are you picking to win this tournament? Yeah, Maggie, it's been a rough week of weather. The storms yesterday were pretty intense, and they got uh, an inch and a half of rain at Augusta. Now, Augusta can get rid of water. It's like Disneyland underneath Augusta National. They have all these pumps and vents, and they can drain the ponds at Augusta, I learned yesterday, which is pretty wild. But I guess it's a flick of a switch to do that. But, yeah, conditions today are very chilly. It's about 59 degrees. The wind 
probably in the 40s, it feels like out there. The wind is kicking. The scores are already high on a couple of the early holes. So soft conditions, windy conditions, it favors the longer players. That brings Dustin Johnson into play if he is healthy. But my pick, Maggie, we talked about him earlier. I'm going with Rory McIlroy. Rory is long. He can outdrive most of these guys on tour. He can overpower this course with his length. But a key thing that's going to happen out there because of the wind, a lot of guys are going to miss the green on their approach shot. Uh, that brings scrambling into play. Rory does that very well. He can get up and down, chip it, put it in. Uh, I think that's going to play a big key the first two days when it's windy. And then it gets nice all weekend, 70s and sunny on Saturday and Sunday. So Rory's my pick to win. Uh, keep an eye on Ricky Fowler. He could be in the mix as well. But Rory's my pick to win. He completes the Grand Slam this year at Augusta.